Hey everyone, this is the Icon Killer. And we're in part 35 now. Oh, almost forgot. Anyway, we're in the tree climbing room now. Shit. That was close for comfort. A little battle room should be precise. So, like I said before, I'm gonna finish off the Mugenjo as soon as possible. It'll take a few parts here and there. Let's review. Hmm. Right now, after we peeled off, I mean, after I peeled off the seals of the Muganjo. Princess Dusk shows a fragment of her past and how about how she was when she wasn't a possessive bitch and all. She was a nice person. She had... She had mad respect, respect for her servants, for the servant, the soldier, and she's best friends with a little... She was a she was best friends with a little girl. Then something happened. 
Her castle was attacked by hidden leaf ninjas. She had to run away from the hidden leaf ninjas that attacked attacked her castle before. So so as it stands in the that's all we know so far. So in the next uh, drama room, so in the next drama room, once we encounter a seal or whatever. It'll give us clues as to who is responsible for her pain. Even though she said at that time that the hidden leaf ninjas are the cause of her pain. But... I wonder who in the in the hidden leaf village would turn evil. I mean seriously, who? I guess there's one way to find out. We'll just hope that a drama room would come up eventually. And we'll find our answer. So I stood before in one of my in one of my earlier videos of the Mugenjo that some mini games would turn out to be hard. While going up the stages and shit. Well, this clone room is getting a little. a little testy here and there. Anyway, I'm gonna leave you with this slot machine. This is Daikun Killer, Daikun Killer, signing out. Stay gold.